name of Jesus, because he said, if you draw not to me, I draw not to you. He is our shepherd. He goes out and he seeks and he finds us when we're down and we're out. When we fall, God picks us back up. That's what a shepherd does. He picks his lost sheep up. When a sheep gets hurt, when a sheep gets battered or wounded, come on. When the wolves try to come in and try to suffocate the sheep and try to stick up on one of the sheep, what does the shepherd do? The shepherd fights off that wolf. That shepherd fits, takes up for that wolf in the name of Jesus. Glory to the name of the Lord. God is our shepherd. And when he sees one of us down, when he sees one of us wounded, when he sees the, the wolf trying to come in from the left and trying to come in from the right, what God does, God surrounds us with a shield. Come on. He surrounds us with the protection so the wolves will not come in. And how many of you know who the wolves are? The wolves are the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Then he goes on. He said, we shall not want. Come on. God said we should not want for anything. Come on. The wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just. And we are the just. Come on. He said he will grant us our heart's desire. He said there's nothing, nothing too hard that God will, will not withhold from us. Come on, nothing that God will not withhold. No good thing. He said no good thing. He said we should not have to want for anything. We should not be lacking in anything. If you know that God is your God, if you know that God is your Father, and you're in the earth and you're lacking in something, you go and you take it to God. Because He said we shall not want. Come on, when God is our shepherd and we are his sheep, we want for nothing. We want for anything because God said he provides. Come on, he is our Jehovah Jireh, our Jehovah Nisi, our Jehovah Shalom. Come on, our Jehovah Rapha. Come on, he makes ways out of no ways. So when he says we shall not want, when you don't even see a way, God is making a way. When you don't even see, when you don't even know, in the name of Jesus. When you don't even know how you're going to do this, and how you're going to do that, and how I'm going to do this. Lord, I don't know, and Lord, I don't know. God said, he is your sheep shepherd. You shall not want. God is a God that is always on time. Sometimes he comes. Just on time. It could be the 12 midnight hour, but it's always on time. When the sheep gets lost, when we're lost, God always tries to find us. Come on, when the shepherd goes out to find his sheep and he's caught in a tangle, he's caught in something. That shepherd is right there to untangle that situation. What makes you think that God will not untangle your situation? What makes you think that God will not come in like a, a roaring lion? Come on. Come on. God is your shepherd on this morning. Come on. He said he makes me to lie down in green pastures. Come on. Do you know the definition of green if, of pastures? Come on. It is a, la a land or a plot of land. It's nothing but green grass all the way from point A to point B to point C to point D all around. Come on. It's something where the, God, where the shepherd takes the sheep to the pastures to feed on the grass. God said he wants us to lay down in the pastures. Come on, he wants us to think about him. He wants us to dwell on him. He said, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto him. Come on, if he takes us to the pastures and you lay down in a green field, come on, there's nothing but green grass all around, wild flowers, a couple of trees maybe here and there, but they're all the way off in the distance, but there's nothing but a clearing of green pastures from from the river all the way to the back of, to the river of joy. Come on, and you're laying there, and you're not thinking about, oh, I need this, and oh, I need that, and oh, but you're thinking about, oh, oh God, I'm seeking you. I'm seeking you, God, while I'm laying down in these green pastures. He leaves me beside the still waters. Come on, peace be still. When he was in the boat, with the disciples and the wind and the rain was all around about them and Jesus 
Jesus was asleep. Come on, and they were so afraid and they were so fearful. Come on, and Jesus woke up and cried. I can imagine Jesus. Look on that face. Come on, and Jesus spoke these words. Peace be still. He calmed the water. When God leads us to the, the, to the still water, come on. When God leads you to peace, come on, when you've been so bottled up with chaos and confusion and this mess and this junk, come on, God said, just because we're in the world, we're not of the world. Come on, let lie down in green pastures and let them lead you beside the still waters. He restores my soul. Come on, God said he wants to restore your soul on this morning. Come on, he wants to restore our soul. How many out there need to be restored on this morning? How many out there want to be restored, renewed? Come on, who needs a who needs a jump start? Come on, who battery needs a jump start on this morning? Come on, who needs to get the cables from heaven and let God hook those cables up to your soul and restore you on this morning? How many of y'all need a, a just a light on this morning? Something God needs to come down and light you up on the inside on this morning. Come on, because you're you so down. Come on, you, you've been, you, Monday through Saturday, you've been dealing with a lot of stuff, a lot of mess, a lot of all this stuff and all this stuff on top of stuff on top of stuff, as I always call it. Come on, and God said he wants to restore your soul, because right now you could be one that came in, and you could be down and out on the inside of your spirit, man. Come on, who needs your spirit, man, to have a, need a jump start on this morning? Who needs to be, who needs to be juiced up on this morning? Morning. Who needs some food from heaven on this morning? Who needs some a uh, special anointing on this morning? Come on, if you gotta get up out your seat on this morning, and you gotta run around in this in this building on this morning, and you gotta praise him on this morning, because God said He's a restorer. Come on, He said He wants to restore your soul on this morning. He leads me in the path of righteousness. Come on, righteousness. Come on, he wants to lead you in a path of righteousness. Come on. Yeah, God knows that sometimes we turn to the left and we turn to the light, to the to the right. But come on, he will say he wants to lead you on the path of righteousness. He wants you to he wants to lead you on the right path, not the wrong path. He wants to lead you to the path that will take you into your destiny. He wants to lead you on the path that will take you into the purpose and the plan that he has spoken over your life long before you were placed in your mother's womb. Come on, why would you turn to the left? Why would you turn to the, a road that don't lead nowhere? Come on, why would you turn to the to the right, to the road of destruction where the enemy is waiting for you? But God said, if you put your eyes fixed and focus on me, I will lead you on the path of righteousness. I will lead you on the path that I paved out for you. I will lead you on the path that I said that that I spoke over your life before you were placed in your mother's womb. God had already mapped out your path in the name of Jesus. Yes, God knew that we would have challenges and and different things along the line. Come on, but those challenges that you have should not be tearing you apart on the inside. That's why he said he's going to restore our soul. He's a restorer. He wants to renew. Come on. He knew that we would be, we, just like Jesus was persecuted, we, we are persecuted too. But that, that don't mean to go to the left and go to the right. It means stay on the, you're on the right path. Come on, when the enemy comes in like a flood, when the enemy comes in like the slurring snake that he is, and try to discredit you and t tell you all kinds of mess and junk and lies, because we know that he's the author and the finish of lies. When he comes in and tell you don't go down that road, because there ain't nothing down there, that means he's coming the opposite of the truth. He, God wants you to go down to go down that road. Because that road is your destiny. Don't let the enemy tear you away from your destiny. If you know that God has spoken something over you, if you know that God has placed something marvelous on the inside of you, you follow that. You follow that. In the name of Jesus. Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Come on, glory. Come on, who? I can be.
be the first one to raise my hand on this morning and say, yes, I have walked down the path of sh the shadow of death. Yes, I have many, many times. Come on. I will fear no evil. Come on. God said we are not to fear no evil. Yes, evil is among us. It walks among us each and every day. It walks among us Monday through Friday, 365 days a week. Come on. But God said we shall fear no evil. Come on. He has given you the power and authority to bind up evil right now in the name of Jesus. Come on. He said, yea, do I walk through the valley of shadow of death? Come on. I walk through the valley. I walk through the shadows. And I even walk through death when the enemy wanted to take you out. Come on. Because some of us that are here on this morning, Satan wanted to take you out in the name of Jesus. He was plotting and planning on last night to take some of us out. But God stepped in and he said, not so. Don't you know that Jesus went down to hell and he took the keys for, of death in the name of Jesus? Come on. Come on, while we were asleep last night, I can imagine the enemy trying to come in and get in and steal our life. But God came in like a flood. He said, yea, though my children walk through the valley of shadow of death, they will not fear no evil. Come on, God said, you have walked through the valley of shadow of death more times than anyone in the name of Jesus. He said, you are not to fear evil, because evil ain't nobody. And it ain't good. Always persevere in the name of Jesus. Good always come out on top in the name. Good always conquer evil in the name of Jesus. Good always conquer the enemy in the name. Good. Come on, glory to the name. Glory to the name. He said, Yea, do I walk through the valley of shadow of death? I will fear no evil, for thou rod and thou staff. Come on, thou rod. Thou art with me. Come on, when you're walking through the valley of shadow of death, you got to understand that God is with you in the name of Jesus. Come on, he's giving you something. Come on, on the inside of you, which is the Holy Spirit. Don't you know the Holy Spirit is a comforter? Come on, it's a comforter in a time of trouble. It's a comforter in a time of need. Come on, the Holy Spirit comforts you each and every day. In the name of Jesus, you got to know when you're walking through some situations, when you're walking through some circumstances, when you're walking through the trials and tribulations of your life, when you're walking through this death valley, when you're going through your wilderness experience, and you're going through your Job experience, when you're going through your David experience, when you're going through your Daniel experience, when you're going through your Abraham experience, you got to know that God is with you at all times because he said, in his word, he will never leave you or forsake you. Come on, and you got to lead, you got to stand on God's word when you're walking through diverse trials and tribulations in your life, when you're going through certain situations. Because I tell you, in the name of Jesus, somebody's going to be going through something on next week, and you got to know that God is with you. He said he won't leave you or forsake you. You got to know that that situation that the enemy is trying to take you through next Next week, that God is going to turn that thing around for your good. But God is going to get glory out of it. Don't worry about how it looks. Don't worry about what people say. Don't worry about if people turn their nose up at you. But let me tell you what you got to do. You got to praise your way through. You got to praise your way through. You got to praise, 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 worship, 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 and pray your way through. In the name of Jesus, glory to the name. God prepares the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Come on. God said he will prepare a table in the presence of your enemies. Oh, my Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Come on. Whoop, glory, glory, glory. He said a table. He said a seat. He said a table. Come on. Can you imagine a table from this end to that end? And God just lay it out on. Blessings on top of blessings in the presence of your enemies. Because those that talk about you, those that say they, that you ain't going to never amount to anything, those that say you ain't nothing, those that tell you that you ain't anointed, those that say you ain't a, a, God, a child of God, those that tell you you fake as you want to be, those that talk about you behind your back, those that scandalize your name, those that did everything they could do to bring 
bring you down. God said he will prepare a table before, before you in the presence of your enemies. Glory to the name of the Lord. Come on, all you got to do is sit at that table. Mm. Prop your feet up, put your sunglasses on, sit back in a recliner chair, and enjoy every H and every ride in the name of Jesus. Come on, he said he will prepare a table in the presence of your enemy. Come on, can you imagine? God will show up, show up, and show off in your life. Glory, how many people want God to do that for them on today? How many people are designed God to show up? Show out and show off. Come on, because you don't need to show up. God said he will show you up. In the name of you. You don't need to show up. God said he will show up. You don't need to show out. God said he will show out. Because when God shows out, every enemy that said they would say something against you, going to be in attendance and going to be present. That's why he said he will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemy. Glory to the name of the Lord. Come on, thou anointest my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. Glory to the name of the Lord. God has showered down anointing upon you on this morning. Come on, he's anointed you for greatness. He's anointed you in the name of Jesus to carry out his work in this land. He's anointed you in the name of Jesus to speak his word. He's anointed you in the name. He, you are highly favored. And if your cup runneth over, you do not have a cup that is half full. You do not have a cup that is empty. I'm here to encourage someone on this morning in the name of Jesus. God said your cup is running over. God didn't open up a window up. Open up the windows up in heaven, and he poured you out a blessing to the point that your cup was overflowed. In the name of Jesus, your cup was overflowed with blessings, signs, and wonders, and miracles, and the supernatural, and the ridiculous things that God wants to do for you. Come on, your cup is running over. Come on, I, I know I desire my cup to be running over. Come on, you don't want a half-empty cup. You want a cup that is running over with goodness and mercy. Come on, you don't want an empty cup at all. Can the name up? You don't want to sit at your table and your cup be empty and you're turning it upside down. You're like, okay, God, what happened? No, you want a cup that is so full and overrunning that the point that you got to go back and get another cup and that cup becomes over full, over, overrun, and then you got to go find another cup in the name of the next cup becomes overrun. Then you say, wait a minute, I gotta get a bigger cup. And as you go get a bigger cup, you know those jumbo-sized cups that we always get when we go to the curry out store and we say, I want a jumbo-sized half and half. That's just a little joke. And you know you get a jumbo-sized cup like that. And you say, wait a minute, I gotta get this big cup. But you find out that when when you get that cup, that cup tends to be over overrunning. My Jesus, her overrun cup with goodness and mercy and blessings. Come on, glorify the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I, I want my cup to be overflowed. It, it's not a big enough cup that can hold all that God wants to do for you on today. In the name of Jesus, he says, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord. Come on, mercy. Hallelujah. A blessing. That is an act of divine favor or compassion. Oh, Jesus. Mercy. Come on, we'll follow you all the days of your life. That's just like favor. It's following you wherever you go. Heaven, a favor will meet you where you need to at your divine appointment. Come on, surely goodness. Come on, God's goodness. Come on, she will follow you all the days of your life. Come on, where evil wants to rule, goodness shall over overtake. Where evil wants to prevail, goodness will stomp out. Come on, mercy, God's mercy. A blessing, a blessing, divine favor. Come on, God said divine favor will follow you all the days of your life. Come on, divine favor. Come on, divine favor. He's showered down upon you on this morning. Divine favor. In the name of Jesus, you, you, I could hear some of you right now. Well, I don't have favor because every time I try to go here and I try to go there, come on, let me tell you something. You got to believe with all your heart, 
mind, body, and soul that you are walking in divine favor in this season. Did not God say there is no good thing that he shall withhold from you? That means if you don't believe that God will not withhold a good thing. If you don't believe that you're walking in divine favor, well, divine favor will not meet you where you need to be. But if you're one here on this morning and you believe with your heart, mind, body, and soul that, yes, God said no good thing he shall withhold from you. Come on, God said no good thing. No good thing. Hallelujah. You, you, if you believe in the name of Jesus that you have divine favor resting upon you everywhere you go, people just say, here you go. They don't know, understand why they know it. But God understand because he just gave you favor. If you go there and, and, you, and you've been trying to do something for so long and it didn't work. But this time you go back and you God may say go back and try it again. Come on, you go back and try it again. Favor, favor, favor ain't surely fail in the name of Jesus. Surely you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. You got to know that we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. When God said it's our time to be called up into glory, come on, we will we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Come on, come on and worship him. Come on and praise him. Come on and give him glory. Come on and praise and worship his name on this morning because truly God is my shepherd and I shall not want for anything. Come on and worship him on this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on and worship him on this morning because truly God is our shepherd on this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. He is your shepherd and you shall not want on this morning. In the name of he said he's giving you divine favor on this morning. Come on, mercy and goodness will follow you all the days of your life. In the name of Jesus, come on. He said, yea, do you walk through the valley of shadow of death, but you will not fear no evil, because my God said in his word that he is with you. In the name of Jesus, when you go through something, the rush trials and tribulations, you got to understand that God is with you. In the name of Jesus, when you wake up in the morning, when you go about your day, God is with you. And I know some of you may be saying this morning, but I don't feel God. I don't feel God. Well, let me tell you, I had that same experience too in the name of Jesus. And God told me, just because you don't feel my presence does not mean I'm there in the name of Jesus. Just because you don't feel God's presence. Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you on this morning that God is right in the midst of you, in the midst of you right now in the name of Jesus.